I've been looking for you now and then Someone just like you Who can make me feel the way you do All righty, this is day three of our yurt renovation. I kind of like two and a half because wasn't able to finish up from day two, but we'll call it day three. And for those of you who don't know, we lived, I live here in a yurt with my wife and kids, and we've lived here for five and a half years now. And uh, we have decided that it's time to, to do some upgrades on it. And on the first day that we did renovations, we started by putting an underpinning, an underskirting around our yurt because we didn't start with that before. And that would be one thing that I would do differently to start building a yurt is actually put something around the bottom of it to have like actual crawl space that's closed in. So we got that kind of done, mostly done. Still have some more work to do. And then yesterday, the second day, we started taking off the canvas siding and putting on hard plywood for our sides. And today, we're gonna go back around where we put the plywood and start putting Tyvex on it. And the purpose of Tyvex is to, it's a moisture barrier from when your wood sweats or the rain, just to keep that moisture from deteriorating your wood and to keep your house protected. So that's what we're doing today. But I don't have my friend Evan here today, so it's just gonna be my wife and kids and we're gonna have to get it done ourselves. See if we can do it. I think that I'm going to hide in Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade Alright, so this is just my second time putting Tyvex on any type of building structure, anything for that matter. The first time was at the Hollards, so uh, if you're going to check that video out, you can check it out. And one of the things that we did that I'm going to do differently at the Hollards is we put it up with staples at first and it was coming down on us. So we're going to start off right off the bat with using nails on the hold of Tyvex up. Uh, and as far as remodeling the yard, the first time I've heard of somebody doing it was at Beverly and Shane's house in Virginia. They are fellow yurt dwellers as well. And uh, we also visited them. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But uh, it was neat to see how they renovated the yurt. But I've never seen anyone on YouTube actually tell the story of how they're doing it. So we're, we're sharing our story of and progression and how we do this. So it's all new territory. So we're just going to have to, we're winging it a lot of times. Somewhere. So if we screw up, <laughs> don't yell at us too much. But if anyone is considering living in Europe, we definitely have a lot of pointers and suggestions for you to hopefully lessen your learning curve that we had. But uh, time to put this up because there is rain in the forecast for tomorrow. We need to hurry and beat that rain. The first thing we need to do is untie the roof because it's pulled tight. And as you can see over here, it's too tight to actually get up over the plywood. So we need to untie that to begin with. So right now you're just unloosening the, the main line that holds it together? Is that what's happening? I'm here? loosening up this rope that keeps the roof tight. What this is, is there is a cord that goes through all these grommets all the way around the yurt. And so what happens is you start on one side and you work your way all the way around and then you keep tightening it up as you go. So this will help keep your insulation tight with the insulation on the wall of the yurt. So that's why you have to keep it tight. And it's been like this for five and a half years so I need some pliers to help me. So, there, see, now it's loose. Okay, so right up here we have our roof, then we have our insulation, and then we have this liner that goes on the inside. So, I think what we're gonna do is, uh, Lacey suggested putting the Tyvek right under here and taking the, the insulation and roof right over it and just kind of pushing the liner in. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And you can see the material that the roof is made out of. It is 
let me tell you putting this roof on was a beast i wish we had videos we were doing videos back then because it is heavy moving this roof so uh see if we can keep this rolling Like a big present or something. Alright, so what we're gonna do is uh Evan talked about making the at least a foot overlap. So what we're gonna do is we're probably overlap it about here, cut it, I'm gonna cut the siding and we'll just screw it on there. Better than me on that one. She's hired. She's doing better than me. Alright. So here we go. See how strong this empty knife is. Oh snap. Just <laughs> cut that thing easy. <laughs> Man, surprising how easy. Not really surprising because this is a really good knife. Got a lot of stuff like butter. Look at that. Look at that. Since mommy's so good at using the hammer and putting those nails in, I don't know. I just just be the grunt, just hold hold the tie back roll. So if we were to start there. It would have been, the words have been upside down. It is OCD or whatever as I am. It just drives me crazy. So we're gonna start here on the other end and roll it that way. Stop this one like somewhere right here. Just get the juice in there too. Move it again. I'm trying to figure out what I'm using. It's a heavy you don't need that much there. This is a job they gave me at the holler, just holding it up. Just being mother here. <laughs> oh, this is good. Give mommy the honors of cutting it this time using the special knife. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Pull it tight. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and tuck it under the top now. Whoa! Micah, where are you going? Are you running away from home? Hey, hey. Oh. Bye, bye. See you later. Okay, now that we have the tie back up, nailed to the wall, and tucked into the ceiling where our roof is, the next part is to go ahead and just go ahead and screw in our sidewall, our old sidewall, onto top of the tie back and on our exterior wall. And the reason we're doing that is because we are not totally finished yet. We still have some areas to do back here where we need to add plywood. So we'll plan to get to that later, especially here where the wood stove is. Not going to do that right away because it's going to be quite a work of reconfiguring some things to pull in the plywood. So right now we're doing this and we'll come back and tackle that later. Okay. 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 Come on, fingers work. <laughs> All right, I 
I'm gonna need you to hand me my drill. And that'll keep that flap from flapping too. Thanks for the drill. Can you hand me some screws out of there? Uh -huh. All right, that's one. I'm glad you decided to come back and not run away from home. <laughs> no, I need you. You gave him an idea again. <laughs> He's gone again. I got to do it by myself. <laughs> He'll come back. You got to eat sometime. Are you just taking the tie back and wrapping it inside the door frame there? Yeah, I'm actually tucking it in so we stay watertight and we keep the water off of our plywood. Well, thanks a lot for showing me up today with the hammer. It's like I can use a maul, I can use an axe, I can even use a sledgehammer, but I was having trouble put using a carpenter hammer tap, 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 on tap, tap, a little tap, tap, nail. Tap, 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 so. tap. Just hit it harder. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> but I was getting a better hang of it at the end there when you left me to myself and uh... When nobody saw you doing yeah, it. Yeah. You always do better when nobody's around, right? That's how it <laughs> works, right? <laughs> but it was, it felt so good to get the Tyvek up. Tyvek. Earlier in the video I said Tyvex, I think. It sounded like I said Vex. But it's T-Y-V-E-K. Not X, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Okay. So how does it feel to get the Tyvek up around our house and to see the progress that we're making here in the year. It feels good. It feels really good. I'm excited to get the whole thing done and then the siding on and the windows in and then I can start working on the inside that I want to, what I want to do. But we're finally making progress. We've been wanting to do some of these things for a, a couple of years now, but to see it coming together and it's coming together. It's, it is exciting. And, and I, 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 I'm so looking forward to, oops, go ahead. I asked you the question. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, these are things that we've been wanting to do since we moved in. Well, we still have a lot more to do to finish the renovations on our yard. So this was just day three. I don't know how many days it's going to take us. And besides, we still have a lot of other projects that we're doing around the homestead right now. And we're not going to be able to work on it every single day back to back for consecutive days. So we we'll work on it here, work on it there because we've got projects going on in the garden. Plus we need to start seeds for the spring. Plus, I'm cutting down all these trees. It's a progression. So, uh, it's like how you were talking about. It's perfecting the homestead where you are. Yeah. And that always takes time. So that's what we're doing. There's days where you just feel like you just want to multiply yourself. It's like we'll just each of us just multiply ourselves so that we can just tackle all these things, and just get them done. That would be nice. And then <laughs> one of us could actually like sit and relax. That would be the one that I would want for a little while to sit and relax. And then like another one editing and another one taking care of the kids and another one you know then what if they start things. biting the one that's just relaxing they be like wait why do you get to relax <laughs> well <laughs> that's it for this video that was going way off track way off sorry track. about that reel me back in <laughs> that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time and as always be strong grow on and live life without excuses see you next time bye guys